Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be reviewing the Skyzone flight controller. This is pretty sweet actually. And it does look a lot better quality than on the picture on the website. So um, this is an F4 processor from Skyzone. And I guess Skyzone's trying to get into this kind of market now. Um, it seems pretty cool, pretty sweet. Um, so let's just quickly look at what it comes with and then we can go into the specifications here. So they do provide you with the wiring diagram, which is very good. It's very nice, very clearly labeled and um, it's just very simple here. So it's pretty sweet. Um, they do give you a bunch of silicone wires here, uh, which make your life a lot easier, such as this one. Uh, this would be for like maybe a PW, PWM if you're going to use PWM and they are silicone. So that's pretty sweet. And this would possibly be for uh, PPM, I'm not sure, or maybe LED. I think the last one here is for LED, so if you stick it in, uh, you'd have your LEDs here. And the 3 to 3 here, this is going to be, I think, for your camera. So it's pretty sweet. Look at that. They have it prepared for you. So you would stick this into your Fox here, and you would stick this into the board. So that's pretty sweet. And what is this guy? This guy is basically, oh, this is the PPM and S bus. So this guy would be down here to four so this this is for your s bus and we're going to go over the pads right now and here's another one for your receiver so that's pretty sweet all right let's put these guys to the side here and get to the good stuff so looking at the board um as you can see we do have current sensing so that's pretty good we have a built-in buzzer that's awesome and we do have beta flight osd which is perfect we have a boot button right there and we have an F4 processor, and this is rocking the MPU 6000 gyro, which is the good one and not the super sensitive one. So that's pretty sweet. So looking at it like this, um, you're going to be powering your VTX off of the battery terminals. And I believe here um, they do provide that for you on this port here. And I'll show you right now the pinouts, and we'll go over everything together just to get a good idea of this uh, board's layout here. <clears throat> now, let's start with the ESC pads. And let's just see. So we have M1, which is good. M2, motor 2, that's good. 3 and 4. So that's perfect beta flight orientation. So you can stick it in like this. We have our USB to the left. Perfect. Arrows front. Awesome. So that's just great here. And um, so we have the signal right in the middle. Ground and positive for, sig for the ESCs. So that's just perfect. And they're pretty good size. So that's going to be easy to solder up. As well as the battery uh, pads here. They're very good as well. Now we are going to start with the bottom here and they do provide us this awesome sheet, this wiring diagram here. It's very nice, very good labeled and very colorful. <laughs> so that's very good of them. So as you can see here, um, you could either choose to use the uh, wiring connector that it comes with, the JSD connector, or you could solder it to these little pads right here, which I believe is just absolutely awesome and super amazing. I really do like this. So if you're running, you're running a DSM-2 Spectrum satellite, you would put your signal right here. Uh, PPM and SBUS are on the second one. And um, the third one is 3 volt. So if you're using Spectrum, you would put 3.3 volt, as you can see right there. That's the third one. And then this one is ground. And then this one's 5 volt. So that's pretty cool. So if you're bringing some kind of FR Sky receiver, you'd want to take the 5 volt, ground, and PPM, which is that one. So, yeah, well... It's pretty nice, pretty simple, right? Now let's take a look at the top side here. So we have this side, this is for camera, right here. And if you use the first pin, that's VCC, which is the straight power coming from your battery. I don't really like doing that. Some people might want to do that, but I don't really recommend it either. So yeah, I would just um, ignore that first one. I would get the ground, which is off the second one. And then we have five volt for the camera right there and the video which is here because it does have osd so the video would go in here go through the osd and pop out to your vtx so let's jump to the vtx now and here it is video transmitter so this is pretty awesome so instead of soldering it directly to your battery pads uh, they do give you an area where you could do it here so and this is the same concept also you can either stick it in the connector or just use these pads right here so we have vcc which is the battery power ground and video which will go to your vtx here all right so now we jump to this one so as you can see here we have five volt ground and we have our uarts we have uart three and six here 
and we have the last one which would be the RGB LED this would be the signal pin to your LED here so uh, that'd be pretty cool if you wanted to do that you could do that so I think I'm guessing the S bus is going to be on UART 1 here and uh, well we won't really know until we actually start using it and putting it on a build and then we will know for sure so overall, it doesn't seem like it has much filtration on the board for the OSD. Uh, so this will come back down to your ESCs. And I do highly recommend you also add low ESR capacitor to this guy. Um, just because you're powering it off the, your video, video transmitter is just from the raw battery voltage here. Alright, so let's just get its dimensions in now because I think that's very important for people. Uh, just so you could know how much space you have left or if you have enough room for it in your quad. Um, because lately, you know, these have been getting bigger and bigger. So we're gonna see its width at the shortest amount. Let's just zero out the thingy first. Just double check it. All right. Perfect, okay. So let's just do this. And it's 35.7 here I would say yeah 35.7 so it's around 36 and let's just take the widest points so this would be the width here and it's very difficult for me to actually align it on the camera while looking through the camera and this is 48.9 so the, the the longest part of the width is 48.9 here um, so you take that into consideration and let's just check its overall length its overall length is 49 millimeters. So 49 millimeters is its length. And what did we say the longest part of the width was? It was 40, 48.9, so it's 49 also. So that's good, um, I guess. It's not that big, it's not. It's just a lot smaller than the uh, FR Sky All-in-One on that video will be coming up soon. So let's just see the highest point on this guy which is where the uh, buzzer is, and that's 6.5 6 millimeters here. So that's pretty good. I mean, I really can't say anything. It depends on your stack, but I really do like it. It seems very good. Let's just see the width of the PCB here, actually. Or the, it's 1.5, 1.3 millimeters. I don't know, 1.4 millimeters. So it's 1.4 millimeters thick, the PCB here. So that's pretty sweet. And I'm um, looking at the chart here um, we have our boot button right there as you can see so that's pretty good and we do have our power LED which is this one and this is the status LED which is the blue one up here and that's all I could really say right now about this board it looks very nice I really can't wait to actually use this one this is gonna be pretty sweet I don't know what I'm gonna be putting it on but maybe some kind of uh, ESCs with telemetry and maybe we can route them to one of the UARTs and just check it out also. So that'll be pretty interesting and pretty fun. And it um, should be very nice and easy to build. I mean, the, the pads are kind of small, but you could also use the wires uh, if you don't like soldering. So that's very good. And the, these pads are pretty big for you, so you're not going to have a hard time soldering these on. So it's pretty sweet. And... That's all I could really say right now. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.